What's up, fellas? Here at the uh, the week nine review. Um, <clears throat> nothing too crazy going on that I'm aware of. Um, obviously, I've been a little busy, so not paying quite as attention to things as uh, I have in the past. Um, I think maybe some of that is the fact that my team is dog shit, so makes it uh, not quite as fun for me. <laughs> but uh, I still have a job to do. Still got to give you guys what you guys would like. And uh, obviously, um, you know, the teams that are doing well, good for you guys. Uh, wish you guys the best of luck. Um, I'll get started with the recap here. Uh, I know free agency started today. Uh, I'm not, sh I don't think anything crazy happened. Um, anybody was amazing to go pick up by any means. Um, I do know we had a trade between Dakota and Dalton happen this week. Um, and that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, seems like the things have been, uh, pretty, pretty quiet, uh, this year compared to some years past, but, uh, We'll see how things go as things uh, ramp up and, uh, you know, playoff positioning tightens up in the next uh, next couple weeks here. Uh, we'll start with my game here. It was uh, D me versus DJ. DJ won this one 123 to 103. Um, going into Sunday night, I had two Bills players, and I was hoping if they could get, like, 20 points, I figured I could get 20 out of Eckler. I would have made it a game, and Gabe Davis decided to get me zero. Nothing. Big primetime game against the Bengals and nothing. Um, kicker got me four. So <laughs> not much uh, I can do about it there. Um, I played Will Levis at quarterback. Obviously, he sucked. He only had like nine points. Um, obviously, not having Justin Fields hurts. That's the guy I drafted. I had Geno Smith prior, and I mean, I would have got done even worse if I played Geno. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, it's just but just been a rough year for me. Um, Eckler did well with 20. I got, you know, double digits out of Alave, Collins, and Andrews. Brown's defense got me 23. It's probably my only saving grace and even having a respectable score. Um, I tra I think, I'm pretty sure I traded for Cam Akers earlier this year. I believe so. Let me see. I can look here and it usually tells me. Yeah, I traded for Cam Akers early this year. Torres Achilles. The second, what, second player on my team who's tore their Achilles. I mean, I'm just <laughs> shit luck this year. Uh, Daryl Henderson struggled against the Packers. Not really sure why the Packers aren't that good. Christian Watson for the Packers only caught one ball. So just traded for him too and just uh, kind of hasn't panned out well. Looking at DJ's team, Jalen Hurts had a big game. Um I mean, obviously, I'm a Cowboys fan. Eagles uh, should have lost that game. Cowboys, you know, Dak stepping out of bounds, getting tackled on. Dalton Schultz getting ta I mean, not Dalton Schultz. Ferguson getting tackled on, like, the half-yard line. I mean, <clears throat> very lucky for them there. And then, obviously, Cowboys always have poor clock management. Uh, Gus Edwards had two touchdowns there at the 17. Deontay Johnston has looked nice since he's come back from injury with 19. Uh, Jahan Dodson found the end zone, got him 15. And not much else going on there. Kicker got him 14, which is nice. Nothing on the bench. Uh, Devontae Adams struggled again with only five. Um, <clears throat> nothing else to really speak of there. Everybody else you kind of expect. Obviously, he lost his tight end, Goddard. Um, I think he broke his forearm or something. He should. I imagine he'll be back before the end of the season, but may not uh, do anything for fantasy purposes. Next up, we have... Uh, Ray versus Dakota. Ray won this one pretty easily. This was 136 to 99. Um, looks like Ray has changed his team name again. <laughs> uh, looking at Dakota's team, Mahomes, underwhelming, 16 points. Uh, Keenan Allen, you know, had 12. Obviously, I guess it's a tough matchup, but I, you expect more there. Chargers defense got him 26. That's pretty crazy. Had Dalton Kincaid on the bench with 11. Everybody else in this lineup had single digits. Kelsey with three. Uh, Cup with six. Uh, obviously, you felt Cup and Nakua would probably struggle a little bit without Stafford in there. Um, I, Brees Hall is supposed to probably have a better day. I, I we've I talked about Bijan in the chat. I don't even own Bijan anywhere, but I'm not really sure why the Falcons drafted him because they don't give the man the ball. Like, um, too often I'm looking, I see Ty Tyler Algier in the game. Obviously, I think Algier is a good player. Don't get me wrong. 
but you spent a like what pick seven on Bijan. Like, why is he not playing more? I don't I don't understand. It's not like when he's not like he's playing bad when he plays. Um, just very very odd situation there. Looking at Ray's team, Joe Burrow got him twenty two. Um, it seems like ever since Ray you know complained and benched Joe Burrow that one game, you know I guess it got through to him apparently because he's been playing very well since that point. <clears throat> um, Diggs had twenty. Jacoby Myers got a rushing touchdown. Not much else, but you know I touched down six points, so he got him thirteen in total. Dalton Schultz had a amazing game. 10 for 130 and a touchdown, 22 points. Barkley with 13. Um, he's just, he's going to get a lot of work, but that team is so bad. Well, I, I, I'm pretty sure they're starting uh, Tommy DeVito again this week. Um, sounds like uh, like a character from the Sopranos, um, or Sopranos, however you say it. Uh, Raiders got him 18. Um, had Taysom Hill on the bench who had uh, 19 points. Uh, so if he would have doubled tight end, he could have got a little more. DJ Moore underwhelming with uh, the four points there. Damn, DJ Moore's got traded around because I traded him to Dalton at one point. Oh, let's see. Next up, we got Kenny versus Derek. Kenny won this one 139 to 109. Derek had a nice day out of Dak, who had 28. Derek Henry had 18. AJ Brown had uh, 16. Stopped his streak of 125 plus receiving yards, uh, which we all knew was going to happen at some point. Um, for some reason, he decided not to play uh, the 49ers defense or play the 49ers defense who were on bye week. But to his defense, he had the Seahawks defense on the bench and they got negative four. So I guess you'd rather get zero than negative four. Uh, very uh, weird situation there because obviously you don't know that going in. Um, obviously it didn't matter because Kenny played a Titans defense who got zero. So their defense were just a wash. <laughs> it's crazy how that can happen. Um, Kenny was led by CJ Stroud who had 42, um, huge day for that rookie. I just wonder how Panthers fans feel every week when they see CJ Stroud, you know, playing extremely well and they decided to dry, draft Bryce Young instead. Um, that's, that's gotta be something tough to deal with. <laughs> um, I, I I think the GM should be fired or whoever made that decision for the Panthers should be fired. I, I believe that the Texans probably have a, a, a slightly uh, better uh, talent around uh, Stroud than what Bryce Young has, but it doesn't look it doesn't look like they are comparable. Um, Rashid White got him 26. He got 23 out of CD Lamb, 10 out of Hawkinson and not much else going on there. Next up, looks like we got battle of uh, two shit teams or two low scoring teams because <laughs> obviously Dalton's team was pretty good. Um, Jason Fowler won this one 86 to 81. Um, they just both had bad weeks. <laughs> Looking at Jason's team, Tua got him 12. Uh, Brian Robinson got him 11. Mooney with 11. And Joku got 11. Chiefs defense with 14. Chiefs defense led his team in scoring. Uh, Godwin sucked with, with three points. Um, I mean, A.J. Dillon, AJ Dillon with five. I mean, the team is just really not that good. <laughs> I mean, because I'm looking at the guy's scores, and I'm like, I mean, you don't really expect too much out of these guys, you know. So it is what it is. But, I mean, I would say he's four and five, so I guess they're figuring it out occasionally. I mean, that shit, that's probably better than my record. Looking at Dalton's team, uh, Josh Allen with 25. Uh, Jonathan Taylor had 15. And just Devonta Smith had 13 and just not much else on the team. Negative one out of the Giants defense. That's tough. Had Kareem Hunt on the bench who had 10. So, you know, you throw Kareem Hunt in there over, you know, a few of these guys here. You're not playing them over... Zay Flowers, maybe Josh Downs. I don't know. That's a toss-up in my opinion. Next up, we have uh, Garrett versus Josh. Garrett won this one 102 to 96. Garrett was led by Lamar Jackson, who got him 12. Uh, Josh Jacobs finally had a decent day, or a really good day. Um, he's struggled a good bit of the year with 22. Um, Cole Commit found the end zone twice with 21. 
Saints defense got him 12. Uh, not good day out of uh, a lot of his uh, other players. Pollard with eight. Cooks with just one. Um, Jalen Waddle had seven. You know, you expect a little bit better out of some of those guys. Looking at Josh's team, Herbert, just a horrible day. Seven points. I guess they won the game pretty easily, so he, he didn't have to do much. Um, he's missing Josh Palmer now, missing Mike Williams. So receiving core is taking a big hit. Um, obviously, I, I know going into Monday night, Josh probably thought he was going to be able to win this one, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, Ramondre Stevenson finally had his uh, best scoring day of the season. He had 21. I believe his 64-yard touchdown was more rushing yards than he's had in any game this season. He did that on one play. Um, so I don't really expect that to keep up. Uh, Tank Dell had a big day with 27, two touchdowns there. And not much else going on here. Um, Jamar Chase was six. You expect a little bit better there. DK Metcalf, only the one catch. That's, that's tough to see. Um, he did get 50 yards on it, but... He's uh he hasn't been that uh, that great this season. And then the last matchup we have we have Michael versus uh, Jason C. Michael won this one. It was one hundred and fifteen to ninety five, uh, led by Derek Carr who had seventeen, Joe Mixon with fifteen, um, Aaron Jones with sixteen, Amari Cooper had a big day with twenty two, um, Kate Otten had twenty. Um, he helped me win some money in DraftKings because I decided to throw him out there. George Pickens only had one um, little little pretty bad game there. Two catches for one yard. Elijah Moore had two and a half, um, but was able to get the win. Looking at Jason's team, uh, 19 out of Mayfield, um, 15 out of Mostert, uh, 15 out of Higgins, 19 out of Jake Ferguson, 15 out of the Ravens defense, uh, but not much else going on there. Ken Walker only the two points. Obviously, the Ravens' defense is, is pretty stout this year. Uh, nothing out of Michael Thomas. And to the best of my knowledge, he didn't get hurt, and he played that game. Um, Michael Gallup only with three. Um, so tough tough sledding for some of those guys there. But let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything crazy happened on waivers today. And then it looks like the trade we had looks like uh, Dakota traded Bijan and Dalton Kincaid for Jonathan Taylor and Gerald Everett. Um, I think it's a wash at uh, at running back pretty much. Actually, I mean, actually Taylor's probably a little bit better, and then I think Kincaid's a little bit better. So all in all, very very even trade there. Um, if I look at the standings here, DJ's in first, eight and one. So um, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Um, I mean, we can't have the newcomer, the guy's first year. Like we can't have him winning, guys. Like um, maybe maybe we're just letting him feel good, um, you know, so he enjoys playing, and then hopefully somebody beats him in the playoffs because it won't be me. Looks like uh, ESPN says I have a 15% chance at making it. Second worst in the league, only to Garrett. <laughs> um, just a tough, tough slide in there. But uh, I wish you guys the, uh, the best of luck, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.